Hi, my name is Francesca Birrone. I'm a writer from Italy. I moved to the UK in June 2020 after finding out that my family of origin were part of a criminal organization dealing drugs and prostitutes. And I found, after finding out also that they were trying to implicate me in things that I had never done and that uh, they were trying to um, pressurize me into prostitution. I, before uh, finding that out, I had met a man last J January 2020 who approached me um, with a Nikon camera, said that uh, he was a photographer and he wanted to teach me photography, knowing already that I was into photography without having met him, uh, met him before. Um, and then after a couple of days, he told me the big secret that it was like um, a judge undercover, a judge undercover of the province of uh, Como and Varese. And he threatened me not to tell anything to anybody, otherwise his life would be a risk as well as mine. I started panicking because uh, if it was such a secret, you know, why would he tell me after a couple of days that I had met him? And so everything started being really... Um, all, all he was doing, all he was telling me, the places he was taking me to was really like surreal, like um, uh, really strange. And then finally I found out that he was a stalker, he was trying to, pro to force me into prostitution and he also revealed that I had been followed all my life, that I had been naive up to that. Um, I could realize that that was the case after I went separate ways with, uh, from him, I did realize that that was the case and I started panicking, I went into fight flight mode, I started running away and at first I, I, I looked for support uh, to different friends to then find out that they were all part of all this organization of people who were like stalking me, uh, persecuting me. Uh, so, uh, I finally found out that my parents traded me, um, traded me to an Italian police officer when I was a kid and uh, that um, they basically, he let them raise me by these conditions and these conditions were that I would be raised as a human experiment. That meant that I was being like followed and uh, uh, observed like a real guinea pig uh, all my life, whatever I was doing. Um, and um, also that they were had to expose that they had to expose me to traumatic situations deliberately uh, to study my reactions and my learning outcomes how I would react I react throughout my life when I was little when I was a little bit uh, grown up or when I was a teenager when I was an adult um, and even now. They're still following me and stalking me and watching me and uh, I believe they, they, they everywhere I go they're good with cameras, hidden cameras uh, because um, I could, uh, you know, I could find evidence that there were hidden cameras in different places I stayed. Um, when I found out, I ran away from Italy in June 2020. I went uh, to Brighton in UK, uh, where I was, uh, where I had lived before. I went straight to the police to report about everything, about facts that happened to me in Brighton before that I had remembered last year, and um, they listened to my story. Didn't raise any concern whatsoever, but they sent me to a psychiatric hospital without any mental health assessment. Um, I stayed in a psychiatric hospital from June to October 2020 where they pretended to heal me, to uh, treat me and they said that I was uh, healed uh, last October. In reality they uh, sexually abused me, they psycho psychologically tortured me and uh, they bullied me and all sorts of horrible things. Uh, and I believe so that the police and the hospital, in particular the psychiatric hospital in particular, were also part of the stalkers, of the network of stalkers. I also found out that this human exper that this experiment, this um, conspiracy, persecution, however we want to call it, is funded by the international politicians, VIPs, many that I met in my life. Uh, international corporations, uh, universities, all sorts of intellectuals uh, that I am, obviously I'm not going to name here in this video, but uh, that you, you all know. And, and that, um, and they're all, and that they're all, they will count over a million people. And that uh, they decided to um, uh, reveal themselves last year, so to, so to make me go into fight flight mode, and then straight after uh, the 
the, the, the pandemic came into the world so that they locked the, 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 the world down and my movement would be trackable and I wouldn't find any support from genuine people. Uh, in fact, all the people that I've been meeting since last year are all people who, who are part of the organizations, who stalk me, who uh, make setups, uh, who act according to specific scenarios like uh, also my family and friends had been doing since I was a little. Uh, and those scenarios are, are based on my responses and they are written by uh, psychologists, psychiatrists that train, who train normal people uh, such as to um, uh, give me, uh, program my unconscious and condition me psychologically, the uses, I think it's NLP. Um, and. Um, I basically found out that I, all my free choices that I had in my life, they were all conditioned by family, friends and uh, whoever uh, I would meet, I would, would be friendly with. Um, I used to trust, be really trustworthy in my life, to trust people a lot and now um, I had to change that. Um, so, uh, the, the, since I left, uh, um, me, um, since I left um, the psychiatric hospital, I was uh, I was still running around, like uh, running away from people who uh, wanted to harm me, uh, or were persecuting me, or were forcing me into, or, like trying to force me into prostitution. Uh, or trying to offer me drugs. Uh, it looks like that the, the, the two main themes are prostitution and drugs for some reason, which is exactly what my family does as a business. So I don't know whether it's uh, a coincidence or it's something related to, to them. Um, uh, I've been like uh, in all the places that I've been, like hotels, hostels, like places that where 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 I've been, also places I walked to. They were all um, I was always surrounded by stalkers and p people part of the um, of the network of stalkers and persecutors. Uh, so uh, I'm literally like doing this video in a, in, a, in the toilet of, of, a, of a place I'm staying at the moment uh, so that they, because I, um, I believe that, well, and I have proof that they also film me without my consent, they have spy cameras and stuff like that. So, I mean, this is horrible, please, I need your help, I've been like, please, I, I'm, a, I'm not uh, a human experiment, I'm a human being, I want to live my own life. I deserve to live my own life and, and not to live like this, it's impossible, it's, it's just like horrible, please help me uh, raise awareness and uh, free me from this situation because I cannot live like this any longer, please help. <laughs>